What's up, guys? Um, I'm in my mom's computer, so forgive me. It's a little bit slow. I'm trying to get everything set up. I'm not even on my account, so uh, just bear with me. The first thing I want to review with you guys are what I call market correlations. You can pair a lot of the stocks with the market, and you can see the correlations. Let me go over some things with you guys. The market works, and when you're looking at the correlation, it works in inverse. So you want to consider the top of the market, like right here, this is the bottom of the market. The bottom will be considered the top. So it works in inverse, the positive numbers to the top, and negative numbers to the bottom. The bottom right here, the charts, this is what you would consider the divergences and between the pairs. So this will be like the, we, we use this to confirm um, an actual move. I'll go over this a little bit later on in details, but I really want to just focus on you guys being able to see how the stocks correlate with the market indexes and how to actually use them correctly. How do you know they correlate? Whenever you look at the number right here, this number lets you know how much they're correlating. So right now it's almost correlating at 100%. That's why it's the triple Q's and the NASDAQ work the best as well as the SPY versus DES, the correlation is almost at 100 also right here. That's why they work the best together. Whenever you see this, the divergence, they're really diverging uh, very strongly against the market. Well, this would usually be when we had like the FOMC meetings and things like that. Um, but let's focus on this for the moment, the chart. I really don't like to use it at the lower time frames. It's easier to show you guys how they work at the lower ones. i rather use this at the 30s, um, hourly, and the slower time frames, and I'll show you guys a little bit why. Uh, it's, it's best to confirm market trends, and if you have like a longer move, or if you're showing the market, and or if you, know, you wanna just play it longer, it confirms your trends. And let me show you guys how. So like I said, uh, right now it's moving side to side, and you can tell because it's still in, indecisive on both of these, on the SPOT versus the ES, and also on the triple Qs versus the NASDAQ. Okay, so at the moment it's saying that it's going up. So this correlation when it's moving up, remember, if this is going up, that means the market is going down. On the ES, SPOT, and on the NASDAQ and the triple Qs is going up, and how do we know? Now if we go back to the chart, you see NVIDIA is going down. Uh, NASDAQ right here is going down. If we were to look at down, down, down. The ES is down, SPY down. Why? Because on the correlation, remember the triple Q's going up. Spy the ES going up. It works in inverse. This is going up, markers going down. You, you can use this to correlate different stocks. Um, let's see, I think people always want to know like Tesla and the ES. When you look at the correlation at the moment, there's a lot of divergence. Meaning they're not following each other the best at the moment right now. This wouldn't be the best time to actually follow. You want to follow when it's at a higher point right here. Let me show you guys why I say use it at a higher time frame. Let's see the 30 minutes and the 30 minutes. If we were to look at it like this, remember this top of the line that I put right here that I had showed you guys in my personal um, uh, strategy uh, room. So this would be considered the bottom of the market. You see, it's been trending. So technically, the market went up, 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 and rejected up here. It came back down, 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 
it bounced a little bit, came down, 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 down. But if you see, the whole time has actually just been trending down. On the spot and on the ES, you get the same confirmation. The market went up, 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 came down to the support level, it bounced, came down to that same support level, it bounced, and then it came down and it literally tested this, um, it tested the bottom of the market right here, and now it actually bounced. So you can use this right here to also confirm bottoms of the market and top of the markets. I'll give you guys a little bit more information on this later. Um, just wanted to kind of get this out to you guys. Uh, you know, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, ask me. But this is really great if you guys know how to use it or learn how to use it.